I've got a, a part here and I busted off a, a tap. I was tapping some blind holes. I busted off a, a 440 um, high speed steel tap um, right here in this blind hole. Um, and a lot of you guys can probably feel my frustration. Um, if you don't know, you can actually dissolve steel taps out of aluminum parts. Uh, this uh, part is a 6061T6. Um, here in a Pyrex dish, I've got probably about a cup of uh, battery acid, just uh, off the shelf battery acid, sulfuric acid. Uh, and um, basically, I've got enough to fully submerge the part. And I've got some uh, alum, powdered alum. You can get this in your uh, your supermarket uh, by your usually by your spices. Um, I've got, like I said, maybe about a cup or so of battery acid. I'm going to load this thing up with alum. I think you pretty much want as much as the solution will take, um, and you'll start seeing when it it stops dissolving. Um, you'll know you've you've got enough. So I'm gonna put oh I don't know that much in there. Four or five teaspoons. I'm gonna stir that up real good. I might add a little bit later. Um, don't be too shy with it. Um, take your you know your proper precautions working with acid. Um, what I've got here is a double boiler setup out in the shop. Um, I. I found this has uh, worked for me before. Um, the warmer it is, the faster this is going to work. If it's really cold, it's not going to work very well. So a double boiler with a Pyrex dish, if the part's small enough, um, works pretty well. Um, so uh, hopefully a few hours, that tap will be uh, completely dissolved, and we'll come back out and uh, check it out. An hour later, and it uh, looks like the tap is completely dissolved. Um, the reason I say that is because um, as it's dissolving, you can see it bubble. And I, I know my footage isn't real good, um, but there's no bubbling. Maybe if I put this uh, the rest of the tap in there, you'll see it. Well, you can't really see what's going on, but uh, it's, uh, it's being eaten away and bubbled. So uh, let, let me take this out and uh, wash it off and we'll inspect it. Took the part out. Um, there were no remains of the tap inside there. And uh, I chased the uh, the threads out with a new tap, and uh, it's all good to go. Here's the uh, the broken part of the tap. I put it in there momentarily. It's uh, high speed steel. It was bright and shiny, and just after about 30 seconds of being in there, um, it's turned black. Man, my camera's not working today. Um, so the the part itself, um, aluminum. It uh, it's a little bit. Uh, it's got a ox little bit of oxide layer on it. Uh, not too bad. About like if you were. Uh, let it weather out in this, the outside for a little while. Um, not too terrible. This piece is going to get uh, anodized, and I don't think you'll ever know the difference. Um, so I hope this helps somebody out. Um, I've tried just uh, a lemon water, um, and I've put uh, I had a big part, and I put a heat lamp on it, and it it didn't just didn't do anything. And I think it uh, it wasn't warm enough, um, and it was hard to keep the part warm because it was in the shop and it was cold. Um, and uh, then this, what I did here, was battery acid and alum, and um, put it in that double boiler. The hotter it seems, the better. And uh, works real good. Like I said, 440 tap, dissolved it in right about an hour. Um, hope this helps somebody out. If you have any questions, leave a comment.